going to take a quick look at the Steel Supports package by Applied Software and show you what you can do and what comes with it. So first of all, we've provided a pipe support spec, which you can copy to your project. And if we take a quick scroll through the list, you can see we have the items we've added are in caps, all caps, so you can quickly identify the new uh, shapes you can insert. Some of these do have custom symbol keys, um, but where we can use the out-of-the-box ones, we will. So let me go ahead and use the clevis hanger. And as I select them, you can double click in the spec sheet to insert and it'll find the correct size when you insert it on a pipe or you can select a size here from the bottom, which is really helpful for reducing items. So I'll click on the clevis hanger and select it. And then as you hover over the pipe, you can tab if you would like to alter the, the spacing between the supports. Let's do another eight feet. And you can select these. These have grips. So we can flip them, rotate them, and stretch them to the top of the steel that we need to connect to or mount them from. And if I go to my properties palette, where appropriate, we use the standard symbol key so that the steel supports can export to stress analysis and be compatible with those programs. And then you also have out of the box the image that shows you what the dimensions do and in your properties palette, the dimensions to control your steel support. Let's take a quick look at the ISO. So I'll send this out to production ISO. And the ISO has dropped, so let's open that up. And we have our hangers correctly placed in the ISO with our spacing. And we have them in the bill of material as well. Let's take a quick look at what editing them would look like. So if we go to our catalog editor, we will provide a catalog with all of our supports. So you could add more information if you use a specific manufacturer or if you have a part number that you want to fill in or support details. You can go through and fill those in in the catalog. And then you can also adjust the dimensions if you need to. The other thing that we're going to start including for uh, in 2020 is some additional content. So the first item that we're adding is a, a three-port Y strainer. Out of the box, the three-port is not available, so you can't place a drain valve off the bottom of a Y strainer. So we've added one um, in our ASTI pipe and fittings catalog. These catalogs will be available on install when the program gets installed to CPAC, ASTI. Uh, we'll have a pipe and fittings catalog, the steel supports bundle, and your project spec sheet, which can be copied to a project 